in this small video I'd like to talk about um, Microsoft Great Plains uh, old versions uh, not on, on um, Pervasive SQL 2000 and uh, also known as Btrieve a database platform as well as uh, on C3 Faircom uh, as it is uh, known in earlier 2000 when Microsoft uh, finalized uh, Great Plains software um, acquisition the trend was to uh, move away from um, non-Microsoft SQL Server database platforms such as uh, Btrieve, Pervasive and uh, C3 Faircom the uh, uh, free database uh, MSDE was good replacement for both and uh, the performance of this new uh, scaled down uh, Microsoft SQL Server option was uh, actually uh, much better comparing to C3 uh, or even uh, comparing to uh, Pervasive uh, SQL 2000 um, the uh, last version of Great Plains uh, on uh, Pervasive and C3 was uh, uh, 7.5 and um, with um, version 8.0 it was exclusively available on Microsoft SQL Server uh, database uh, and uh, and current uh, and current version is 2013 as I am recording this video in May of 2014 uh, earlier versions were uh, 2010 uh, 10.0 9.0 and 8.0 what to do if you are a customer on Great Plains uh, earlier than uh, 7.5 uh, 7 such as 6.0, 7.0, 5.5, 4.0, 5 5.0 and earlier including Macintosh on 3.2 and 4.0 and even Great Plains uh, DOS 9.5 The uh, I'd like to say that the difference is um, excluding Great Plains Accounting for DOS, which is different uh, accounting platform. Uh, the difference is not really that that dramatic because uh, table structure is similar, and you can review table structure in uh, tools, resource description tables on old Great Plains as well as it is the same on the current version of Dynamics GP as it was uh, renamed. Uh, in the Microsoft Dynamics ERP family. The tool of choice or our recommended tool would be Pervasive SQL Control Center where you can export uh, data from the tables uh, as well as to select, update, delete and other SQL commands. Um, one of the most interesting um, routines which I was able to, um, to do with Pervasive was uh, data repair on Microsoft uh, Dynamics uh, GL level where double entry was um, uh, compromised. So I had to remove the traces of the batch posting which came all the, all the way through uh, General Ledger and uh, transactions were only partially posted. So in Pervasive Control Center I was able to filter out these uh, transactions, GL, GL entries, and uh, take them out of um, open year, which uh, the, the year was closed, uh, and then from historical year. So. Um, I'd like also to mention that uh, there is uh, another nuance in uh, reporting tools. In um, old Great Plains, managerial reporting such as sales by product line, by territories, by uh, profitability by the project were typically designed in um, our Crystal reports and later on with uh, Microsoft SQL Server Crystal was emphasized in order to, to give the priority to SSRS or uh, Microsoft SQL Server reporting services where you can pick from templates as well as create new report. In my opinion both Crystal and SSRS should be based on um, 
uh, SQL uh, select statement or view or uh, in case of SQL Server Store Procedure. This would give you, this would, this would be bulletproof from such annoying report issues as uh, rows duplication and incorrect summaries. There is option to upgrade from, uh, let's say, Pervasive or C3 to current version on uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, and there is migration tool, which moves you from obsolete database platform to SQL, Microsoft SQL. And then you do upgrade with several steps from version, let's say, 7.5 or earlier to um, current version, which is uh, in 2014, version 2013. Couple of words about Great Plains accounting. Even if it has the name similar to Great Plains Dynamics, this application has different code base and it has different functionality. In our case, we have um, a knowledge base uh, which was finalized by Microsoft in mid 2000s uh, and uh, it allows us to help you if you have issues with Great Plains accounting. We can export data if you move um, away from uh, GPA DOS to, let's say, something like SAP Business One or QuickBooks or PHTO, you name it. The um, export is typically done in Pervasive Control Center and uh, you can export huge number of records from historical tables including sales history, um, sales order history, uh, purchase order and purchase receipts history, as well as historical GL uh, entries. So if you need help with uh, Great Plains old versions, feel free to give us a call. Personally, I support all the versions of GP ever released by Great Plains Software and the Microsoft Business Solution Dynamics ERP subdivision. Uh, my phone number, our phone number and the mail preferred is uh, in, in the description to this um, video. Um, I am always available by phone or by email. Uh, good luck and give us a call. Thank you.